Well, we're now joined by the president of the opposition MDC in Zimbabwe, Mr. Trangirai. He joins us uh, from his hospital bed here in Johannesburg, where he's being uh, treated for cancer. Mr. Trangirai, thank you very much for joining us and uh, welcome to the program. Um, perhaps well, you thank you, Peter. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not in a hospital bed. I have, I'm taking a rest outside the hospital. I'm just taking a leave outside the hospital. So. Uh, I'm not bedridden at all. I'm just uh, recovering from the treatment. All right, let's 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 start with that then. How are you feeling? Is the treatment going well? Well, the treatment is going well. Uh, you know, with these kinds of uh, infections or ailments, it's the level of um, uh, tumor markers that uh, that inflict you. But uh, so far, I'm, I'm, I'm grateful that we are able to contain uh, the tumor markers that uh, were prevalent and uh, were able to monitor uh, its spread and, and uh, I'm grateful that I'm making speedy recovery. Well, that's good to hear. <laughs> well, let's talk about the developments that have taken place in the country recently. Uh, Emerson Mnangagwa, another one of uh, the president's uh, right-hand men, um, being dismissed and both in his position in the party as well as the country. And a lot of people are looking at this and saying that uh, Zimbabwe is at a critical point. How would you assess what's happened this week? Well, it's a, it's a traumatic experience for the country. You know, uh, it's one thing to, uh, to dismiss your vice president. It's another thing when that decision affects the stability of the country. Uh, I think it's a, it's a security risk. And uh, I... I, I find this whole decision totally not in sync with the imperatives that we are supposed to be confronted. Look, ZANU-PF is, is the ruling party. It's supposed to deal with the critical uh, national questions like the economy, like uh, unemployment and poverty that is pervading the country. That country should never have reached that level of poverty. If zanu PF had provided the leadership that is necessary uh, out of the crisis. So uh, the, the decision uh, that has been taken has far-reaching implications. Um, not only are you destabilizing the ruling party, you are also destabilizing the nation. And to what, to what effect? Uh, that one wonders what, mm. what effect will that be. What's your biggest fear of what might happen? The the biggest fear is is the issue of uh, instability. Uh, you know that uh, the power structures in Zanzibar uh, are distributed uh, uh, with, uh, uh, with, uh, with the forces that are outside the civilian control. So uh, that's the biggest uh, that's the biggest fear. However, uh, I always plead that. Uh, if the nation has to take the route towards unconstitutional change of government, then you you may as well kiss the democratic project uh, goodbye. Uh, and I hope that those who have the temptation uh, to see opportunities for unconstitutional change uh, uh, are dissuaded from from pursuing that. So a lot of people are looking for something to happen, and they're saying that perhaps this is the moment in time for the opposition parties to galvanize the people one way or another uh, to cause change. So what you're saying is take a de deep breath, pause, let's do it at the polls next year. Is that what you're saying? That's what I'm saying. I'm saying that uh, the next year's opportunity for democratic change can never should never have come at an appropriate time however we need to create conditions for free and fair elections now in the face in the face of uh, uh, robert mugabe determined to retain power by whatever means uh, and uh, firing his deputy um, i think the chances are that uh, we may face somebody who will want to retain power by whatever means and I think it would be unfortunate if the next election is not conducted in a free and fair manner. And that's what I hope we should avoid. 
With the removal of Joyce Mujuru, now Emerson Mnangagwa, is there a real possibility that um, the First Lady might actually become uh, a presidential candidate in the future? Well, absolutely. The, the chances of uh, taking over by Hook and Cook emanate from the fact that this is a dynastic uh, arrangement. And uh, one would not be surprised if uh, part of that arrangement is to uh, set aside uh, a position in the, in the ruling party. And uh, from events that have taken place, uh, Mugabe can rapture everyone uh, into into believing that Grace uh, Mugabe can be a good candidate. Well, However, we've run out it of time. Be very unfortunate. We've run out of time. But uh, your your assessment about Mnangagwa's future now? Well, I, I think he has to he has to think seriously about his future. Um, uh, he has to he has to think seriously about what role he's going to play in the future of the country. Uh, if he, if he if he thinks that he's going to be given any role without him playing a part, I think it would be nice for him to think that way. All right, Mr. Trangirai, we wish you uh, the best of health and uh, the best of luck with your recovery. Thank you very much indeed uh, for giving us your okay, time Peter, this you. evening. Thank you. That was the. Uh, president of uh, the MDC, the opposition party in Zimbabwe, talking to us from Johannesburg.